There are hundreds, if not thousands, of iPhone app tutorials on the internet right now, but I bet you won't find any that'll take an idea from scratch, design the app UI and features, and release it in the App Store and make it available for you to download, all in the same video. Until tonight. Welcome back. If you're new, my name is Toby the Great, and you've already read the title, so you know we're gonna be creating an iPhone app from literally nothing. I mean, not really nothing. I kind of have an idea of what we're gonna do, but this is a video idea that I've been thinking about for way too long and not actually doing it until now. Hey, subscribe to that channel and like the video because this is probably gonna be a really long one. But, you know, I'll put timestamps in the description so you won't get lost. Right now, it is December 3rd, 11.55 p.m. And by the end of this video, we'll have gone from absolutely nothing to a fully functional working app that's in the app store that you guys can download. The one small problem with this is the Apple Store approval process, which especially during the holidays can take anywhere from days to weeks, so I don't know about this. My goal is to release this video once it's available for download, and if by some miracle it is in the next few days, I'll add it at the end of the video, but if not, I'll probably just release this video without it being in the store, but I'll update it in the description. Before we get started, I should note that the main prerequisites for following along with this project and understanding what's gonna happen in this video is one, having a Mac, either a MacBook laptop or a Mac computer, because to develop iPhone apps, you need to have access to this other thing that's required, Xcode. Xcode is a development platform specifically for all the iOS devices in the Apple ecosystem, iPhones, iPads, Max, everything. And other than that, I was gonna say maybe some kind of programming experience, but I'm gonna do my best to walk through it. And it's gonna be a really simple app because I'm gonna make it tonight. So it can't be too difficult. So you shouldn't need much experience. You can easily follow along. All right, sounds good. Let's get right to the video. So in brainstorming a bunch of different ideas for the app, I thought of making things as simple as possible because this is something I have to be able to reasonably complete by the end of this video. What if there was an app we could create where you just press one button and the app does some cool but simple feature. Shazam, for example, is one of these apps where if you're listening to music but you just can't think of the name of the song, Shazam, you use the app, you press the button, and it listens to the song and gives you the name of it. What we're gonna do here is I'm gonna show you my Trello board. This video is not sponsored by Trello, but Trello is an amazing project management tool. And it's something I should be using more often. Whenever you're starting a project, no matter how simple it is, you wanna have some way to organize all the ideas that you have about it and write them all down in case you wanna change some things or also extend or add new features. So I'm gonna add these different columns, have app ideas, app screens, even though this app is probably gonna have one screen. And uh, for this first one, let's throw out some ideas for this app. You can do like a weather app where you just click a button and you get a summary of the weather for your location. Maybe we could do, uh, I'm trying to see what's something that you can do in one button. Uh, you can do some kind of recommendation app. Like you click a button and it gives you a recommendation of what to do, what to do, what to do, what to do. I settled on two ideas, either weather or jokes, where every time you click the button, you get like a different joke or even like a different, like a riddle or something. I'm kind of leaning towards making a joke app because um, weather is gonna involve the use of some weather API and also location and internet data. And there's just a lot of different details involved with that, involving privacy of, informa of user information and internet access that I don't think I'm gonna be able to do in a day and do it correctly. So a joke app, that's something that we can definitely do in a few hours. So the app function, let's describe this. Um, when the user presses a button, that's pretty much it. This app is gonna be simple. There's only gonna be one screen, the home page and where the button is displayed. It's a good time to plug the other thing that is not sponsoring me, but Photo P is where I do a lot of basic designs in a manner that's really similar to Photoshop, but free. I'm really bad at drawing straight lines, but I'm thinking the home page, wow, that was bad. <laughs> so I'm thinking the home page is, why can't I draw this? This is gonna be the user home page. Wow, that was pretty good for me. And I'm thinking the joke button is gonna be like down here. Oh, let me make that a different color. I'm thinking the joke button is gonna be like this. And you're gonna like click this to generate the new joke and the joke text is gonna be displayed. Yeah, I don't know what color the text is gonna be right now, but it's gonna be displayed kind of in this area 
of the screen. Are we gonna get a new joke every time we click this button? <laughs> I don't know what I just drew here. What is that? So now that we have our very, very simple design, it's clear and this is the kind of process that you're gonna wanna do whenever you create a new project. And at monetization, that's not really a plan for this short endeavor because it's a very basic app. But if I have time at the end of the video, maybe I'll figure out how to do it. And now we are finally getting to the development process of our one button joke app. So again, Xcode is something that's required if you're gonna make iPhone apps. I guess it's technically not required because there's different kinds of solutions like Unity. Since I started coding, Xcode was the main platform that I was working with in 2014. Dang, that's a long time. So I'm kind of familiar with this create a new Xcode project, but if some of you aren't, I'm gonna do my best to walk you through all the features and all the steps that we're gonna to use to create this project. Uh, it's not a game, in the app. However simple it is, it gets straight to the point, which I like. You know, information, I don't know what that means, but I'm gonna click fix. Author. Oh no, we don't care about source control right now. So now that we have the preview of our app on the right side, we're going to get started. Now I'm gonna change the text to be the one button joke. And we're gonna have a text. And we're gonna have a text element on the bottom that's gonna have our joke. And lastly, we're going to, I'm gonna put some padding here. The last thing we're gonna to wanna to do is have a button that we're gonna have at the bottom to generate our joke. And if we build this app right now, this is how our app currently looks. This is the title screen. The joke is going to be in this area and then this button. We don't have any code set to it now, but we're going to click this button to change the joke that's in here. So rather than doing things in the steps and not really showing you how I got to some parts, I'm going to have the Swift UI documentation on the right as I'm working. Um, we have our title here, but it could look a bit nicer. Following these guidelines, we can customize our text element here. So I want to give this the font of dot title and foreground color. Yeah, I kind of like blue, so let's have it as blue. And let's see how that looks. Yeah, it's a bit bigger, more noticeable. For our joke, this is just filler text. We're going to have this text area change every time this button is pressed. And let's also change this button's font as well. Let's have this button be green. And let's see how things look so far. Oh, now it's too big to fit in. Yeah, let's not do. Honestly, it's looking pretty good. I mean, this button doesn't do anything yet, but it's a little more colorful. We're gonna change the font of this a bit more and also make this look like it can actually appear on a, on a phone. Before we continue designing the app, we're gonna just wanna get the core functionality working in place and then we'll figure out how to design everything and make it look cool and all. So the main part of our app is having some kind of functionality on this button that changes the joke every time you press it. So the first thing we're gonna want is a bunch of different jokes. Let's do one-liner jokes. Ones that I can easily copy and paste. No, no punchlines, no punchlines. Okay, it's kind of funny. I've just written a song. Okay, I like that. I like this, I like this. It's gonna take a while, so I'm gonna fast forward this part. Okay, now that we have a few jokes already in place, we're gonna replace the numbers that are within our generate new joke function with actual jokes. So we're gonna return new jokes. Dot random element. Now that I've replaced the function with actual jokes, we're gonna generate a new joke. So you see the jokes are actually cut off here because we haven't specified a minimum width and um, just specific dimensions so our jokes can actually fit inside of the app box. So we're gonna fix that right now. I'm gonna add this fixed size constraint so that our text will expand if it takes multiple lines instead of truncating. So, I don't like how it's stretching out like this. But this technically is working for what we need it to. Um, so the next step, we're gonna wanna put all these elements in what's called a V stack. Basically a feature in Swift that lets you put all your elements in all your elements as children in a vertical stack because everything's top down here. 
and it also helps our constraints be more aligned. And now what I'm gonna do is test on my phone, okay? Nice. So you click the joke and then you're getting a new one every time. See? The power of programming. And we only did this, it only took us like five hours. <laughs> so all that's left is some styling and also adding new jokes. And then I think we'll be ready to go. And now I'm gonna speed things up just so that we can hopefully release this app tonight. So in this section here, I'm mainly playing around with the different styling features of Swift UI, trying to see what works best on my phone, as well as adding more jokes. I'm fast forwarding most of this part here because I'm erasing and rewriting a lot of the same code. And this is mainly for styling, but if you have any questions about some of the code I'm writing or why I went with certain things over another, feel free to hit me up in the comments or in Discord, happy to answer them. But at the same time though, I like leaving sections like this uncut because this is truly a realistic process of writing code. A lot of times you're just gonna be reading documentation, going back and forth and changing your decisions. And um, I just thought that even if it looks boring, this is really what I spend my time doing. I'm almost done designing up this app and I'm gonna show the preview on my phone as we continue because it's gonna be a lot more um, realistic compared to what we're seeing on the Mac version. As you can see, we have a basic working version of One Button Joke and I think this app is ready. And this is where most YouTube tutorials would be like, all right, this is fun. Now like and subscribe for more cool content. This is not the end, this is only the beginning. Now we have to get to the App Store approval process. The tricky thing about the App Store approval process is that there's, it's a bit complicated and it changes a bit all the time. If we go to the website here, there's quite a few guidelines to reviewing an app, but essentially once we get all the material together, hopefully we get it reviewed in 24 hours and we can get this app processed and put it in the App Store. So I'm gonna go over some of the guidelines of the App Store. I'm reading along with you all. It's pretty easy to say that there's millions of apps that are in the iOS App Store and thousands of new apps are submitted every day. So because of that, there are pretty high standards that Apple has for any person to be able to get an app on the App Store. And these standards change sometimes, but they are pretty strict, especially nowadays because there's just so many apps on the App Store. And of course, a lot of kids download apps. So they wanna make sure that everything is high quality. It's as bug free as possible. And they wanna make sure that there's no content that they don't support that's on the platform. So we're gonna need quite a few things. The next step is creating the app icons, which could take a bit of time because I have no idea what the icon of this is gonna be. So I'm gonna have to figure that out and I'll probably speed up the video at this part. I'm not gonna lie to you all. I was here sitting here for a minute and this is the best oh, I can do. That? But who knows? Let's try it and let's just see what happens. So what you're about to see is a quick summary of the very long process that it takes to get your app uploaded to the app store. The first step of which after you get all your app icons in place is to submit a build of the app to the store. And then after that, there are some additional fields that you have to fill out on the iOS developer site. And you also have to submit screenshots of your app in different phone resolutions. 
you also can't forget to self-assign an age rating for the app. With all the jokes that we added onto this, I, I hope it all goes well. Keep in mind the summary is missing some information about how to set up your Apple developer account correctly, so I would go to the Apple site themselves because they have the most up-to-date information. We did it, y'all, in less than 12 hours. Check the description for more information about everything that I've used in the entire process, as well as a link to One Button Joke now available in the App Store. I am now going to sleep for 12 hours. Thank you all for watching. Peace. Mm -hmm.